Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Bandwagon Sports. Um, today, we're back with the Minnesota Wild GM mode here on HLM 21. And as you can see, last time we made it to the postseason, and we are here in round one up against the Dallas Stars. Um, we, we went one and three against them in the regular season. And we did finish second place in our division. Um, Dallas finished fourth. They tied for fourth, but we are still playing them here in round one. And last year, we made the playoffs. We got beaten five games by the Colorado Avalanche. It was really not even close at all. But, um, you know, good playoff experience for the boys last year. And now we're here looking to make a more serious impact. So let's hop into today's episode. And I also wanted to quickly note that for today, we are going to be using the widescreen angle here on HLM21. I didn't really even know this was a feature, so I'm going to try it out. You guys tell me what you think of the widescreen compared to the um, vertical screen in the comments section below. And whatever one you guys prefer, I'll keep using. But if no comments come forth, I'm just going to continue to use the widescreen because it's a lot more consistent for YouTube. But anyways, that's it. And for the lineups that we're going to be using for the playoffs today are these. The only change that I made is I moved Eric Sinek or I moved Pajot down to the second line center. I moved Fiala up to the first line right wing. Um, nothing has changed on defense and nothing has changed on the special teams. So let's get into the playoffs. I'm super anxious. But let's see what we can do. Well, you know what, before we hop in, I think that it's only right that we look at our opponent's lines, and here they are. As you can see, we actually outdo them in ratings. We do have better ratings overall, and the lines are pretty similar. I think that we're probably, like, very close to being the same team. I do think they have us on defense, though. They are a better defensive team, I'm going to say. They do have Ryan Suter, Suter as you can see there on the second pairing. Um, ben Bishop in net. Um, Darcy Kemper is better. Let, let's just see how Ryan Suter has gotten acquainted to Dallas, though. Um, this year, he had 22 points, so definitely not a guy who are missing. But yeah, that is Dallas's roster. And also, here are their player stats. Jamie Ben led Dallas in points this season with 71 points. Sagan followed close behind with uh, 68, but really no outstanding scores on this team but they do have really great scoring depth as you can see um that might be an issue in the postseason i don't think our depth scoring was as good as theirs but we will see what happens when we get into the playoffs so let's do that now all right this is the moment that i have been waiting for all season i don't know about you guys but let's see some minnesota hockey Let's see us do well in this postseason, get more than one win. I think we can take these guys, so let's do it. And we are off in the first game, first period. Who is going to strike first? Nobody in the first. Second period now, let's see what goes down. Power play Dallas, big kill by the boys. And Jordan Greenway gets us started off. That's great. So 2 nothing now, Jacob Bernard Docker. And I'm not going to say anything, but we will take game one in a 2 nothing shutout. 35 saves for Darcy Kemper. What a performance. All right, so a big game one by Darcy Kemper, Jordan Greenway, and Bernard Docker getting goals. Let's follow that first game up with some big success here in game two. Let's see who will strike first this game. And I don't know, are we going to get a first period goal? No. So let's see what happens in the second. Power play, Dallas, big kill by the boys. Another one and another big kill. Going through the second scoreless game. Still Minnesota power play and nothing occurs off that one. Both goalies playing outstanding. And Ryan McDonough scores, but Tyler Sagan ties it up. Less than a minute later, but curl the thrill. Oh my god, so what just happened in the last five minutes of the game? So first... Ryan McDonough scored with 4.56, then less than a minute later, Tyler Sagan tied the game, and then with a minute 20 left, Kirill, Dollar Bill, Kirill, I don't know how to say it, Kaprizov comes through and shows his worth to this team, and we have a 2-0 lead, baby. 
It is worth noting, though, that we shouldn't get too ahead of ourselves. The series is not over. We did take the first two games, but it is not over. Far from it. We are here in Dallas now for the next two games, and the series could turn around just like that on us. I can't snap, but just like that. All those snaps, that's how fast the series could turn around on us. We got to at least take one of these games at home against Dallas. Um, I think that's really going to be pretty vital for us so let's get into game three will the first oh and julius honka scores one early on the power play okay but it's only one nothing and there we go Chaz luchas ties the game for us but radic facts uh, late in the first gives the stars a lead again but john gabriel pajot ties it all right come on boys let's get the next one big kill there big kill yes Chaz luchas second of the night Okay, Kemper and Dennis Gurionov and Dennis Gurionov. Come on, let's go, boys. What a third period rally here. And we are up 3-1 on these guys. Luchas and Gurionov both get two goals each. Pajot gets three points, a goal and two assists on the night. And Darcy Kemper with another good performance, only letting in two goals on 30 shots, really keeping us in the game. What a performance. So just taking a look around the rest of the league after three games, uh, Ottawa up 3-1 on the Rangers, Pittsburgh and Philly tied at 2, that's a great series, Tampa Bay uh, up 3-0 on Toronto, 2 on Buffalo over Montreal, Vancouver has swept the Winnipeg Jets, so they're off to the second round, San Jose and Arizona tied at 2, uh, Colorado currently beating St. Louis 2-1, and we are beating Dallas 3-0 in the series. So let's get into game four. All right, game four, boys. Do not worry if you blow this one. They are due for a game here. They've scored like three goals all, all postseason. So game four, they're due for a big game. But let's see if we can do it. Let's go. Boom, game four underway. We do have the opportunity to sweep, and Jordan Greenway gets us started early, but Alexander Radulov ties the game up. Let's see. Erickson X, six seconds left. Let's go. And Chaz Luchas, we are up 3-1. Come on, Kemper. Shut him down, baby. 3-1, 3-1. Come on, Minnesota. We can do this. Dennis Malgin, though. Don't get your hopes up yet. Oh, and Jamie Ben ties the game. No. Yes, Louis Belpedio. And we sweep them. Let's go. Oh, my God. And we have swept the Dallas Stars. We went 1-3 and three against them in the regular season. And we have swept them here in the first round of the playoffs. Eric Sinek with a huge game. Like I said, they were due for some offense, and they did get it. They got three goals on Kemper, which... You know, very good for them. But we got four goals of our own. And the Dallas Stars are going home real early here in the postseason. Damn, I cannot believe we just swept these guys. I, I'm i going to tell you guys the truth. I didn't expect us to win this series, but we just beat these guys in four games, which is awesome. Let's take a look at all our player stats for the series. And there's couple guys in particular who I think did amazing for us in the series if the stats page will ever load come on oh that's not what I want I just want it for the Minnesota Wild come on come on there it is Chaz Luchas definitely a huge huge playoff series for him he was a big part of our win um, Jean-Gabriel Pajot I think was a big part Denis Gurionov um, Belpedio, Greenway, Kaprizov, but I think the MVP of this first round series is Darcy Kemper. Four wins, a 1.50 goals against average, and a 9.52 save percentage with a shutout. He was unreal. He's currently the best goalie in the postseason, but let's see what other series occur here. So let's go to the playoffs right now. Let's just see what's going on. So Ottawa 3-2, uh, Pittsburgh 3-2, Tampa Bay is off to the second round, Vancouver as we know off to the second round, Colorado could beat St. Louis here and move on to the second round, and we would have a rematch from last season, so let's see what happens here, 
and Colorado win, so I think that's who we're playing in the next round. Um, but let's see here. San Jose with a chance to end it against Arizona. Ottawa looking to end it against the Rangers, and Pittsburgh looking to end it against Philadelphia. Okay, Pittsburgh will beat Philly. That's a bit of an upset. Um, Rangers, the one-seed Rangers, tied up against the ten-seed Senators. That would be embarrassing if they lost. And the Sharks close it out against the Coyotes. So let's see, only game is Buffalo-Montreal. Can Montreal hold on? No, they cannot. So this is the last game of the first round. Who will it be? First-seed Rangers, President's Trophy winning team, or the ten-seed Senators? Oh, okay, good. I, I thought it was Ottawa for a second, and I was about to, like, laugh my ass off so much. But we got the Colorado Avalanche in round number two, and this is a team that we cannot take lightly because they beat us last year, no issues, and I know we've gotten a lot better since last year. But this is still pretty much the same Colorado team that beat us, so if we want a chance at them, we really got to come in looking wild we got to come in looking hungry like grizzly bears just feast on them totally feast on them but that'll have to wait until next video but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video um you know if you did be sure to subscribe and leave the thumbs up means a lot to me over here at the bandwagon sports channel and well we play the third seed avalanche next time and i don't know i'm thinking of maybe putting up back-to-back -back HLM 21 videos this week and what do you guys think because I'm really having fun here with the postseason I will fit in BBLM probably Monday or Sunday who knows who cares I don't but anyways thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one honestly what a video what the hell just happened today I don't even know catch you guys in the next one